All right, XRP holders, XRP Army, we've got a update for you on kind of the latest with the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. Going to give you exactly four or five main points that you need to know so that you are in the know. As always, thanks for giving me a few minutes. If you haven't already done so, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button below here on the video. If you're watching this over on X, watch it, uh, which is a good place to watch it, then uh, hit that uh, follow button over there. I'd appreciate it. Okay, so... Right now, XRP is not doing a whole heck of a lot. And the overall crypto market, as of the recording of the video, has just turned red. We were up about 2%. Now we're down 0.1. Okay, so that's what we got going on there. So there's a couple of key factors that you need to know about the SEC lawsuit versus uh, Ripple. And so here's the key things. We know that the SEC has filed an appeal. Now, they filed an appeal to the entire case. They didn't file an appeal to the judgment, uh, the, the penalty that the judge handed down. No, they filed an appeal to the entire case. So they are appealing the the, the entire judge's ruling. Uh, and if you remember, the judge's ruling on the case was really a split decision. She ruled that the selling of XRP tokens on exchanges like crypto.com and Coinbase to retail investors like you and I was not a the sell of a security. But what she said was when they sold that was the part of the case that Ripple won, air quotes. Uh, and but what she also said was that when uh, Ripple sold XRP to institutional investors, that that was a violation. Okay, so but the SEC is not appealing that part of it. The SEC is appealing the entire case. So that's what you need to understand. Okay, so and and also so again, the SEC filed this appeal. And Ripple is counter appealing. Remember, Ripple is very, very, very well funded. They are a global operation. They move money across international borders. They've spent over 200 plus million dollars already fighting this battle. And they vowed to continue to fight it staunchly, vehemently, whatever good word you want to put insert there. So both parties will soon file pre-argument statements outlining their arguments for the appeal. The initial briefs are expected within three months. And the final outcome may not be known until 2026. And this one just like, oh, just, you know, now we've got more of this uncertainty that hangs over the Ripple slash XRP camp. But what's interesting, and think about it, is this. So what you're looking at is from polymarket.com, free. Go check it out, polymarket.com. This shows you the current forecasted outcome of the U.S. presidential election. Why does this matter? Well, you can see Trump is right now leading 59.5 to Harris over 40%. The reason I'm pointing this out is regardless of your politics, okay, hear me out. Regardless of your politics, as it relates to Ripple slash the SEC, is that Trump has come out and publicly said that he's going to fire Gary Gensler on day one when he takes office. And you also have to understand maybe that if he does take office, he could step in and quell, kill some of this litigation that the SEC is pursuing because of the agenda that the SEC and the current regime have against crypto. Now, this is just me speculating here. There's been nothing said about this, but this is just, you got to kind of look at all different angles. So what do you think? Drop in the comments below. What what are your thoughts? Do you think that this is a thing? Do you think that this could change the dynamic or the landscape of the Ripple SEC lawsuit litigation that's going to continue to go on now for another year and a half, possibly? Hmm. Food for thought, right? All right. That's the latest and greatest. Give it some thought. Go make some money. Later.